I always go back to Jim Rohn because he has such right like wisdom for what we need to be doing and the things I want you to take from this one specifically again virtues over mistakes he said it right at the very beginning of it but it's the virtues the things that we hold true that we continue to do over making the mistakes he listed five things for you I'll reiterate them get serious get smart get going get better get away get serious we all need to get serious about where we're going we all need to get serious about your personal growth your personal development becoming the best version of yourself like actually take that serious we all know people in their life that don't take these things serious they just let things come as they come right they napoleon hill calls them drifters some months it's this some weeks it's this they just they don't take their life serious so you got to get serious got to get serious about making money you got to get serious about your health you got to get serious about your relationships you got to get serious in all of these areas because that's what allows us to really again continue to push forward get smart learn read get around good people you gave the analogy of the books right you can't just read small books sometimes you got to have the patience to read bigger books but that just means you got to take in new information. You have to constantly be taking in more and more information. Uh, education is key, right? Not Never get schooling mixed up with education, but you, you have to educate yourself. You have to get smarter. You have to master your craft. You have to get better in what you're doing. So you got to get smart. You got to take in new, new information. Third thing he said, get going. This is a big one. It's action. Action. I told you I was having these conversations with some younger people this past week or so, and this is actually one of the areas that they're lacking a little bit. I gave this analogy that that said, uh, right, sometimes the older generation, right, just people a little bit older, like they were very good at the work ethic. They took action. They did things. They continued to work. They didn't maybe have all the information or necessarily the right direction to go, but they kept working and they just kept working. And over time, that work ethic is what produced them whatever they, they needed, right? Younger generation right now, they have all the information in the world, all the resources, all, everything at their fingertips, but they don't take action. They don't keep working and working and working and just hammering away. And that part is important. The taking action part, for anybody, for all of you that are on the call that are listening, if you have to take action in whatever you want to get towards, right? It's the motion of doing things that creates the momentum for you to be able to get to the life you want. It's not up here in our mind. It's not just from the information. It's literally taking action. It's doing the stuff over and over again. That's really what creates the results that you want. So you got to get going. Jim Rohn said you got to get better right? So get smart, get better, actually grow in your skill set. And then you got to get away, meaning you got to get some balance. You got to be able to move. You got to be able to get around. A balanced life is a healthy life, right? So you got to be able to do those, those five things. I'm going to compare that to our text, 177 Mental Toughness Secrets of the World Class. Number 87 says, champion see mistakes as intellectual capital. The more that you're able to make mistakes, the more that you're able to grow and to learn intellectually, right? That comes back to this whole get going. The only way you really are able to make mistakes is if you're actually doing something, <laughs> right? It's the only way to make mistakes is because you're actually doing something. You're actually moving in a direction. You're actually trying and testing things and doing stuff. That's how you make mistakes. If you're not doing anything, then you don't make mistakes, but yet we live in this society where sometimes we see mistakes as failures. We see mistakes as things that we want to avoid, very similar to failure. Here's what it says in the text. It says, mistakes are viewed as failures by amateur thinkers. Say that again. Mistakes are viewed as failures by amateur thinkers. Okay. The aggregate cost of workers hiding their mistakes out of fear of reprisal runs well into the billions of dollars each year. Professional thinkers see mistakes in a totally different light. 
They see mistakes as a company asset to be recorded and duly avoided in the future. The real cost is not the mistake itself, but in the lack of reporting and recording the mistake so that so so it could be avoided in the future. The great ones know the only way to avoid making mistakes in business is to stop coming up with new ideas. The pros embrace mistakes. They are a sign that the organization is pushing forward and forging into uncharted waters. Champions know the secret to mistake management is to drive the fear of reprisal completely out of the organization. They reward people for sharing their mistakes with the entire company so the mistakes will not be repeated. The great leaders know the future belongs to the individuals and organizations which can bring about and adjust to rapid change in a permanent whitewater world while simultaneously encouraging the team to open up and share both failures and successes. Take this, this is taking this from an uh, um, organizational standpoint, but take this from an individual standpoint from, for each of you on the call and the people that you know. How, how afraid are you of making mistakes? Do you only share the successes or can you share the mistakes for people to learn? One of the biggest downsides of social media right now, right? One of the biggest downsides of social media is people only share their successes. They only share their highlight reel. They only share the good times. They don't share the mistakes for those to learn from. And that is, the, again, the same thing in your life. You have to make sure that you are learning from the mistakes, sharing those mistakes, not even just with yourself, but sometimes with others so that they can learn from those mistakes. It's good parenting to share your mistakes, things that you've done to be able to tell your children or share with your children, hey, listen, I did this. This was a mistake. Here's what I learned from it. Being able to share that side, but also getting them, giving your children the ability to share their mistakes. So it's not just about their successes. So you're not just praising them when things are good, right? This helps us not want to avoid mistakes down the line. So now that when we are adults, and we want to step out and we want to build that business or we want to take that risk or right we 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 want to do something different in our health or in our relationships that we're not scared of making the mistake mistakes are just the way that we learn and we can't have the fear of making the mistake because then we shield them we hide ourselves from it then we don't take risks then kind of like I read that quote from Sam Sam Altman then we don't really discover anything new. We're on pace to not be able to build the things that we want to build in our life or otherwise. So we got to make more mistakes. I want this call today to give you the permission to go make some more mistakes. Go mess it up a little bit more. Because once you make those mistakes, it's they won't be repeated. You'll learn from it, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, right? If not, it takes it might take a couple of times making the mistakes, but eventually you'll learn from it and you'll learn not to do it. But you got to be able to get the fear away from yourself for making these mistakes. It's incredibly important. Phil Knight here. Phil Knight is the founder of Nike. He said, the trouble in America is not that we are making too many mistakes, but the, that we are making too few. That we are making too few. Same thing in your life, ladies and gentlemen. Same thing in our lives. Are we making too few mistakes? If so, that means we're not trying. We're not pushing the envelope. We're not actually going after and trying to design the life that we want. Because if we did do that, right? If we did continue to want to design the life that we want, it says it in here, we get into those uncharted waters, right? It says the pros embrace mistakes. They are a sign that the organization is pushing forward and forging into uncharted waters. Same thing in your life. If you're not making a ton of mistakes, if you're not constantly figuring things out, it's because your life is not going into uncharted waters, aka outside of your comfort zone. Your life is too comfortable. You're doing the same routines. You have the same habits. You have the same thought process. And because of that, we get the same things out of life, right? Again, you change your thinking, you change your life. So if you change your thinking around something, it'll change your habits, it'll change your behaviors, 
If those habits and behaviors are now pushing you outside of your comfort zone, now you're getting into those uncharted waters, so to speak. You're stepping out of that comfort zone. That's when mistakes happen the most because you don't know where you're, you're going. You, you haven't seen this movie before. You haven't felt this pressure before. You haven't had that meeting before. Like You don't know what this is going to be. So you're likely to make a mistake. But that's where you want to be. You want to be in the place that you make some mistakes. A life where we don't make mistakes means we're not trying. We're not trying anything new. We're not doing anything that we don't understand. We're doing all the things that we know. And the things that we have known in our life has gotten our life to exactly where it is now. Take that how you may, right? Things that you, you know in life, the things that you've done, the way that you've acted, the information that you have, the skill set that you have, has you exactly where you are in life currently. So the way that we, if you want to change where you are in life, if you want to change the place that you're going or you're headed, we got to take in new information. We got to do new things, have new habits, which push us outside of that comfort zone. It's simple, ladies and gentlemen, virtues over these, over mistakes. Those things that Jim Rohn said, get serious, get smart, get going, get better, get away. That is what helps you know you're going in the right direction, regardless of whatever mistakes start to come your way by a result of doing those things. So that's what I implore you guys to do today. Get serious, get serious about your life. Get serious about where you're headed. Get serious about the things that you want to be serious about. Again, if it's relationships, if it's your health, if it's your financial life, if it's your business life, whatever it is, Get serious about it. Spend time doing it. The way that you know you're serious about something is because you spend time doing it. You sit down with a lot of people and talk money and talk finance, talk personal, right? Or like per personal finance. And a lot of times we'll have the conversation that how important is this to you? They, they'll say, oh, it's a level 10. My financial life, improving my financial life is a level 10. Yet they struggle to take one hour a week to look at their money. Well, that doesn't line up. That's not in alignment. If we say that changing my financial life is the most important thing, it's, it's top three, top two things that I'm focused on, but yet we only give it an hour a week or struggle to give it an hour a week, then we're not really serious about it. So you got to get, so your words have to match your actions, right? Like you got to make sure that if you say you're serious about something, that means you spend time there. You spend time thinking about it. You spend time doing it. If your personal growth and personal development is important to you, then you got to spend time there. How long are you reading books? Who are you getting around? How long are you listening to audios? All those types of things. Get smart. You got to grow. You got to learn. You got to get taken more information. You got to, most importantly, I think out of all of these, you got to get going. You got to do something, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see your finances improve, you have to do something to improve them. If you want to see your health improve, you have to do something to improve them. You have to get going, get moving. You might not know all of the steps and all of the ways that you have to get there, but you know the first step. We all know the first step, whatever that is in your life. We all know the first step. It's just, are you willing to take that first step? And I highly encourage you, to go out and take that first step. Again, last two, get better and then get away. Get better and get away. All these things are going to help you put these in place so you're not as afraid of making the mistakes. The mistakes are gonna come. The failures, so to speak, are gonna come, but you, those things are necessary. Say it again, those things are necessary for you to get to the life that you want, guys. It's too crowded down here at the bottom. It's time to get to the top of this thing. We got to put this stuff in place. You got to put this stuff in place so that you can actually apply it in your life and continue to get better. You're welcome, Diane. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being a part of the call. We appreciate all of you. I love you guys. I want you to win. You deserve to win. Your families deserve to win, right? People are counting on you. I'll tell you this over and over again. People are counting on you. You might not know when they're going to be counting on you. It might not be for five years. It might not be for seven years. It might not be till next year. But people are counting on you to take in this information and do well with it. 
so that then one day when they need you and they need to lean on you, you're going to be there for them. So go out there, make it a great Wednesday. Step outside your comfort zone. Make some mistakes today, guys. Make some mistakes. Do something that you, you don't feel comfortable doing and make a mistake. It's okay. You're going to learn. And learning is the key to growing, right? Learning is the key to growing. Love you guys. Enjoy your Wednesday. We'll jump back on on Friday and make it happen. Share this with somebody. Invite people here. We got to get more and more people to jump on. Not everyone wants to change their life and design the life that they want, but there's enough of us out there. They just need the resource and know where to come. So